Hello and welcome to What the Math. Today's topic is Chapter 7 Venn Diagrams. So, this is where we talk about what Venn diagrams are, what the notation is, and what they actually mean. Alright, let's take a look at one of the Venn diagrams. And here's the Venn diagram. Unfortunately, this looks a little bit too much like a Japanese flag, but what you're gonna do? And here's the Venn diagram. So, uh, that is it. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Bye bye. I am joking. All right. So what is this? This is an A. Um, we're going to call this A. And this is a set A. This is basically where we have our um, A represented as a set. So this could be numbers or categories. Uh, the rest of the things here. So so A is right here. A is inside the circle. The rest of the stuff that is outside the circle is what we call. I'm going to use the yellow color, color for this. This is what we call A prime or basically not A. So not a is everything outside of circle everything outside in other words it's everything else uh, so not a and a and then don't forget that the actual square rectangle thingamajig also has a name this is also a set and this is a set of all numbers we call this u so u is all stuff together all sets together and we also call this universal set. This is also known as universal set. And if you want to be all mathematical about it, you can also rewrite this as u equals to a plus a prime. So basically, this is what Venn diagrams are. And essentially, it's a visual way of representing uh, various sets and various numbers inside those sets. For those of you whose um, mother tongue is not English, this right here is also, uh, also known as a complement. So if you see this word, this is what it means. Complement of A. Um, so just make sure that you know what the complement of A means. A prime is basically a complement of A. Okay, let's talk a little bit more about sets. Let's just um, do an example where there's actually two different sets inside a universal set. All right, so here's an example. This is a universal set U, and inside of it, we're going to have two circles. One right here, this is going to be A, and one right here, a little bit bigger, and this is called B. So we have two sets inside U, and basically, uh, they're actually intersecting. So there's a bit of an intersection going on. Okay, let's start with the intersection. I'm going to highlight this in green and write it right here. So this intersection, if you remember the notation, is written like this. A upside down U, B. So this is right here in the middle. This is the intersection of A and B. Basically the numbers that they have in common. Um, now let's use blue color to represent the rest of the stuff. And when I say the rest of the stuff, I mean the union. So I'm going to use blue to circle everything that is considered to be the union of two sets. So that actually includes the intersection. That's why I'm actually um, coloring everything right now. So all of this, all of the blue stuff represents a uh, U thingamajig B. So this is a happy face. So this is the union. The green one was intersection. And the blue one was the union. Okay, next. Next, let's take a look at not B. So I'm going to use purple for this. I'm going to look at not B or uh, complement of B. And that's basically everything that's outside of circle B. So basically everything that is outside right here and is still part of the um, universal set U, but not, not inside B. So it's everything outside of B. In other words, everything that is not inside B circle is going to be not B. I'm going to just shade everything so that you see it a little bit more visually. Um, and this is not B. And obviously not A is everything inside outside of A circle. So that's everything that, it, that was outside of A. Now what if it's not B and not A? What is that then? Well, if it's not B and not A, it's basically everything that is outside of both a and b and that's that's right here this is not a and not b so the complement of a and b or uh, essentially this is a complement of a union of a and b complement of union of a and b 
And this is basically the Venn diagrams in, uh, in a nutshell. So let's take a look at one of the examples first. And this is example six, page 220. And it says this, suppose U, which is a universal set, has these numbers. It was straight on the Venn diagram, the sets of A and B. This is question A and then A and B, question B. So let's start with A. And we're going to write A right here. So let's just draw our uh, universal set first. Don't forget to mark it as U. So this is U. Then our A is 1, 3, 6, 8, and our B is 2, 3, 4, 5, 8. So the first thing we have to do is identify any numbers that um, can be in the intersection. I'm going to use yellow to circle them. Actually, no, let's use green. So we have a 3 right here and 3 right here. And we have an 8 and an 8. So these are intersecting numbers, meaning that these two sets will intersect. Now let's draw them. So we have A here. We have B here, and now let's insert the numbers. Start with the intersection, and the intersection is 3 and 8. It's going to be very, very tiny. This is 3 and 8. Then we have A that has 1 and 6. So we can cross over 1 and 6, 3 and 8. Then we have uh, 2, 4, and 5 right here. To cross these out, 2, 4, 5, 3, 8. And then look at what's left. Is there anything left? If anything is left, it goes into the um, uh, universal set, but outside of these two circles. So we have one, we have two, three, four, five. Uh, we have six, but there's no seven. So we need to put a seven somewhere. Where do we put the seven? Seven is going to be right here. Ta -da, that's it. That's A. So that's the answer to A. And let's do B. B, we're going to do purple. So B, universal set, B right here. And we have two circles again, one, three, six, seven, eight, and three, six, eight. So there's eight that is intersecting. There is six that is intersecting, and there's a three that is intersecting. So what does this mean? Well, that means that A is going to be a bigger circle on the outside. And then on the inside, you have another small circle, B. Inside B, we have three, six, and eight. And inside A, we have everything else, which is 1 and 7. And what's left? Well, we have 2 that's missing. We have 4 that's missing, and we have 5 that's missing. And so that's basically the answer to B. And essentially, this is how you do Venn diagrams. It's not a very difficult topic, and we've done this before. So hopefully, this was a little bit more clear, and this is a good reminder for you how to do Venn diagrams. Thank you for watching, and good luck to you. Bye-bye.